reactions towards your own ticketing, the way things have moved in the last 10 years of the internet, you don't want to then sort of destroy your own live shows as well. So, do you think these big companies? Access for us. We want to make sure that any of the ones come and see our band can do. So let's hear from one place which thinks it has a solution to beating bots. It's just made them illegal. I'm Somia Christian Murthy, and I'm a music journalist based in New York who's written for Rolling Stone, Vibe Magazine, and Double XL. Secondary ticketing or scalping isn't just a big deal in the UK. I'm standing outside of the legendary Madison Square Garden in New York City. Recently, I saw Drake and Future perform to a sold-out crowd here. It was rumored that fans paid up to $300 for that show, when the market value was closer to $100. Ideal broadband. Favorite to compare good stories right to 